Using the Snap to Grid tool, you can accurately align, rotate, and position your parts. To use the Snap to Grid tool, you're going to click on the Model menu tab, and here are the Snap to Grid tool. Let's say if you want to rotate this part by exactly 90 degrees, just check this box here, and now click on Rotate. You can rotate the part by exactly 90 degrees. In fact, you can enter any specific amount to rotate into this box. For example, by 45 degrees, hit enter. And now we're going to rotate the part by 45 degrees each time. Here you see I have a red wall. I'm going to do a control D a couple of times, one, two, three times. If I want to evenly space out the balls, I'm going to check this box here, move, and I'm going to set the number of studs to space them out. So for example, by 10 studs and click on move, we're going to move the ball out by 10 studs each time. This is how you evenly space out your part. You can even select all these walls, do a control D, and then you can move it in the other direction. Control D again and move. Now, if you look at it from the top, you're going to see that the balls are all evenly spaced out. Another way to use the snap to grid is to press and hold down the shift key. So without checking these boxes, if I, let me go ahead and duplicate this part, control D. So now I have two parts at the same location. If I press down the shift key and I move the part, it's gonna move by this amount, by the snap to grid amount. Let's take a look. See, it moved by 10 studs. Now without pressing down the shift key, you can see it's moving by a very small amount. But press down the shift key and pull it, it snaps to the grid. And the same goes for the rotate. If I press down the shift key and I want to rotate, it's going to rotate by 45 degrees each time. 